Hey class, it's uh, Professor Nick Sensky at UNC Charlotte, and uh, this is another Grasshopper demo for Lecture 3. Uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, a specific kind of paneling system using um, morphed geometry. So we're going to take some geometry and apply it to a surface by distorting it. Okay. What I've got here is a file, I've got a surface, and in this case it's, it's a, an enclosed surface with open ends, so it's kind of like a tower. And I've got some geometry that I made in Rhino. And you could this geometry could be parametric. It could be something that, that you make parametrically in Grasshopper, or it could be something that you model in Rhino. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be square, but uh, this is what I have. And I have one type that's just a box, and I have one type that's um, that's kind of a cube with a with a hole cut in it. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just I'm going to wrap these around this geometry, uh, and they're going to be distorted to uh, to fit that geometry. So First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reference my surface. So take a surface container, <clears throat> reference, and I'm going to hide this. And I've, I've talked about this before, but if you notice that, that the geometry is kind of faceted, it's not really smooth, uh, that's OK. That's just the approximation in the, in the computer. If you, if you bake it, it's, it's actually going to be just fine. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to use our pattern that we've been looking at to divide the domain of the surface. And then I'm going to do an ISO uh, trim. So take the domain, plug it in for D, take the original surface, plug it in, and I'm going to get um, a subdivided uh, surface. And you can see that that one's actually smooth. I'm going to go ahead and hide my other surface, <clears throat> and then make some sliders uh, for UV. So now you can see that you know when I adjust these parameters, it's going to change the um, the panelization. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take uh, basically going to morph some geometry, and what that's going to be is it's going to be um, a a, uh, a box morph, and a box morph takes the geometry, it takes a reference box for that geometry and um, a target box, which is where that geometry um, is going to go. Okay, And uh, the way that this, this is going to work is uh, I'm going to um, reference my geometry. Just make two copies for right now. So I'm going to reference this box, and then I'm going to reference this box. And then let's go ahead and hide these. So now I've got one reference, two reference. Okay. And the first one I'm gonna I'm gonna distribute is just this one, just to see. And then I'm gonna do something with a call pattern to distribute both of them. So geometry goes in. I need a reference box. So I need to, I need to figure out how big the area is uh, within a within a box like area. So I'm gonna do uh, a bounding box. And a bounding box is just a representation of the area that something occupies as a box. It's actually pretty dumb. So if I if I hide this, it's, actually, it's just a box because I made a box. So my bounding box goes in for the morph, and then I need I need targets to apply this to. And uh, one tool to do that is called a surface box. And what this does is it's going to distribute boxes uh, all over the um, any any surface basically. It makes it takes a surface and, and creates a um, a box. So take the base surface. And um, the domain, which is actually the whole thing we got here. And then you can see it's actually creating this kind of wireframe <clears throat> boxes. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm actually going to uh, take the height and, uh, well, add a slider for height. It's fine. And I'm actually going to extrude these in a negative direction because negative is actually out, and uh, that's what I want. I'll show you in a second. So see, it goes out. Let's kind of tidy this up here. Mm. Got this. Got my geometry. Okay, so I got a bunch of boxes. <clears throat> and if I plug my morph into those, uh, I plug my, my surface box into those uh, morphs, I'm going to get, and this might take a while to process on your computer. Because it's actually going to it's going to take the geometry of one box and distort it to fit the other box. So we've got this geometry that's in this container, and it's going to be morphed to fit um, this other container. Yeah, 
And so, yeah, after a little bit here, here we go. So our thing has been, you know, pinched and pulled and morphed and distorted to create um, this interesting kind of facade piece. And um, again, this is going to slow my computer down, but, um, you know, this is parametric. So if I change the surface box, which is the target geometry, uh, I can change the thickness of it. And it's going to be pretty slow here, but we'll see if it likes me. Yeah, it's going to happen very slowly. Um, you may want to turn off uh, Morph. You may want to disable it as you work if you want to play with the parameters because it actually it actually gets very slow, and uh, it may um, it might even crash your computer. Okay, so now it finally completed. You can see it's thinner than it was. So that's parametric. I can go back and change these parameters to change the density of it. So that's that's a really um, interesting technique for for trying to panel. So something else you can do with it is uh, have this other geometry that we referenced. That's um, it's kind of a dumb box here, but you could have another type of geometry, and then using a cull pattern, you could you could distribute two different kinds of geometry uh, to your surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable uh, the morph for now. And uh, what I'm gonna do is basically just take the uh, surface box, and I'm gonna send half of the surface boxes to this morph, and then half to uh, another morph that I make. So I'm gonna put this geometry in for this and put it into this morph and then I'm gonna do a dispatch. Remember a dispatch is some kind of pattern that's gonna send the true ones to A and the false ones to B. So I'm taking the boxes in as my list. I'm gonna send these target to A and uh, I'm saying it's A target, A to the target in that morph, and B to the target in this morph. Okay, hopefully everything worked. Let's have a look. Yeah, so um, again, these are, are one kind of geometry, you know, here, and these other ones are going to be um, the other kind of geometry, which are the, the kind of circles. So kind of a kind of a candy cane kind of thing, but now why is that uh, in bands? Because probably we have an even number. So if I was gonna if I would go through and uh, change one of these sliders to something else, I'd probably get a different slightly different pattern. I might get a nice checkerboard pattern. I hope. Let's wait it out here. Maybe this is the magic one. Yeah, yeah. So if you get the patterning, if you get the um, the number right, um, you know, true, false, true, false, true, false is going to create um, this kind of um, pattern that's more like a checkerboard. So you have an alternating pattern. And Anytime you've got some logic, you've got true false. Uh, you can always do things like um, you can do some kind of Boolean test. So you can say like, if a value is greater than something, it's true, and if it's not, it's false. Or if the space, if the point on that surface is touching uh, some object, then it's true, and if not, it's false. And with these tests, you can create different kinds of patterns on your facade. Okay, so we'll be talking more about that on a Thursday. But this is the general method. Uh, for creating um, a, a morph box piece of geometry. And um, of course, you know, you could go in and, um, you know, bake that geometry. And um, that's going to be something that you can use in your models. So again, this is um, just a simple demonstration of um, the morph box technique. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, well, there's one piece of the geometry, but you can see it's pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty fluid. Um, so that's uh, it for this one, and uh, I'll see you guys in lab on Thursday.